the champions of 96. It's on its way! And he is addressing the players inside that dressing room. Not only as captain, but of course, as the man who knows what today means more than anybody. He will come out behind the players. He will be last onto the field through the guard of honour. And just having a quiet word there with one of the youngsters, Johnny Lomax, who is 20 years of age today. And out they come, the Saints, with their mascots, with their family members, no doubt. Out they come, led by James Roby. And in the far side of the ground, in the stand, the main stand, they're all holding banners, they're all holding placards. And there is a big red V in the middle of that famous old stand. Cunningham will emerge. Here in Cunningham, his first game for St Helens was at Millsy Road 16 years ago. And he has been the catalyst for St Helens' success in Super League over the years. There are coaches who believe that certain teams will not beat St Helens until Kieran Cunningham hangs up his boots. Can get up the other end and drop a goal, they will make it to the playoffs. But they've come up with the, the goods, have Saints, as Crusaders have won. So three minutes for Castleford to rescue their playoff hopes. Here goes Graham. St Helens need to score twice to get second. This is Pulatua. Tigers have got to look for an intercept. It's the only option left for them. Wilkin, Wilkin drops the shoulder. One of the wingers, one of the centres, even the full-back, Ryan McGoldrick. They've got to test their arm, they've got to go for an intercept now. Moore finds Lomax. Lomax gets it away to Gidley. Gidley scores for St Helens, does he? Yes, he does. It's snatched away from Castleford again. The hopes of Terry Matheson have gone west again. again. What a dramatic end. They're after the short kickoff. Gardner passes it though for Saints. They've got a minute left, Castleford. What an amazing take by the winger under so much pressure. I bet they're all waiting at Wrexham for the news of this. I bet they're watching the screens everywhere in North Wales as Moore comes down the line. Great hands. Gidley. Gidley keeps on going. Gets the ball away to Wellens. He's fallen. But it is torn. Here is Graham. Coming up here. They need a converted try to Saints. 
to get the home tie next week. Cunningham. Cunningham to Moore. Moore then to Polatua. This is the fellow who could do it. Not this time, though. 20 seconds and counting. Cunningham! that everybody who is here tonight will remember for years and years to come. This decided that St. Helens would take second place. And of course, it had to be Kieran Cunningham who scored that try. There he is. He's still out there on the field. The fans have not let them leave the pitch. An emotional night and uh, a night that uh, we will all remember, those of us who have been here uh, to witness it. Kieran Cunningham, probably one of his finest moments. Me and my old